What's up, everybody? This is Alec Christopher from the Duran. It's been 50 years since RFK was assassinated. Tucker Carlson tonight has his son, RFK Jr., on the show to explain why he believes Trump has delayed the release of the JFK assassination files all the way up to 2021. Take a look at the video. It's, it's a fascinating interview from Tucker Carlson with, uh, with RFK Jr., who really dives into the, the conspiracy theory and the reasons why he believes the government is trying to cover up and trying to hide the real reasons why his uncle was assassinated. It's a great interview. If you like it, click that subscribe button down below. So click the notifications bell to get notifications every time we push out a new video. Visit the Duran shop, buy a shirt, support the Duran. Until next time, take care. RFK murdered 50 years ago today. His son says the government is hiding the truth about the assassination of his uncle. We talked to him after the break. Well, believe it or not, the full release of all files related to the JFK assassination has been delayed yet again, this time until 2021. The president delayed the release in the name of national security, but it raises the question, what possible national security interest could be served at this point in protecting information about an assassination that occurred 55 years ago? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the author of American Values. He is, of course, the nephew of the slain president. He joins us tonight. It's such an odd, I've never done a segment on, on the assassination before, but I'm so struck by how weird this story is. The president has said, point blank, a couple of times, I'm gonna release all these files. He was convinced, for some reason, not to release them. What do you imagine that reason really was? Uh, well, I share your mystification. But the, you know, when they, the stuff that's dribbling out um, it is information that tends to connect the CIA to, um, to the assassination in one way or the other. I mean, the last one that they let out, what was it, in November, they let, um, they let a batch out, and that showed that Charles Cabell, who was the mayor of Dallas at the time my uncle was assassinated, was actually a CIA operative and had been a CIA operative since 1956. And then there was also some information about the automobile that showed that the window had been replaced. Um, I get any information that 50 years later, people should know about, people should have access to that kind of information. And it's kind of, it's bizarre that they still continue to sit on it. Do you believe that the CIA or another government agency was in any way involved in the assassination of your uncle? Well, I don't know. I don't think that that possibility has been eliminated. A lot of people don't understand that when John Kennedy was killed, my father really lost, was attorney general. And so one of the defenses of the Warren Commission was, well, Bobby Kennedy was the best investigator of that era. He was like Mueller of that era. You know, he had been for 10 years, he'd been investigating the unions and the, te the Teamsters and, yes. the, and the mob. And so why wouldn't he investigate it? But the truth is, the day that his brother was killed, he lost all of the investigative capacity at the Department of Justice. He had 30,000 FBI agents who worked for him, but he never talked to, to J. Edgar Hoover again, not a single time after my Uncle Jack was killed. Oh, he really had no, you know, because Hoover at that time began reporting directly to Johnson. And my father, who used to, who, who was ostensibly right. Hoover's, Hoover's boss, really lost control of the FBI and the investigative capacity of the um, of the of the of the Department of Justice, and he resigned soon afterward. I just find the whole thing remarkable. The Attorney General of the United States, later a U.S. Senator, a person in a position to have a lot of information, would suspect his own CIA, and now the documents are still being withheld by that same agency. I think it's really fascinating. The book is American Values, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. It is out, and we urge you to check it out. Bobby Kennedy, thanks very much for that. I appreciate it. We spoke at even greater length with RFK Jr. The full interview goes up on our Facebook page soon. You can search for the Tucker Carlson Tonight page and find it there. And that, sadly, is it for us tonight. Tune in every night at 8 p.m. to the show that's the sworn enemy of lying, pomposity, smugness, and groupthink. 
Good night from Washington. The great Sean Hannity, live from New York. All right, Talker, great show as always.